New Hampshire Republican primary voters could effectively end the 2024 nominating contest in just over 24 hours. Nikki Haley now has Donald Trump the head-to-head -head race she was hoping for. But she's trailing in every poll the state. If he can't win head-to-head -head in New Hampshire, with its friendly voters, and Trump wins a majority of votes there as he did in Iowa, it will be clear where this will lead a third straight presidency. Nomination for Trump. Republicans will choose. And they will choose very quickly. At this point, where no comeback is possible for the GOP, it's worth considering what this would mean a big gamble. The former president is currently polling competitively with President Biden in a hypothetical 2024 matchup, for several reasons. Past performance Although Trump's polls are relatively good at the moment, his election performance is clearly poor His party lost popular vote in 2018 midterm elections by largest margin since 1980s. When Republicans lost Senate after 2020 elections, Trump became first president since Herbert Hoover to lose both House of Congress and presidency in a single term. The 2022 midterm elections, with Trump trying to assert control over his party's direction, were arguably the worst in a century for a party unable to control the White House. Trump-backed candidates also routinely underperformed other Republicans. None of this means Trump can't win in 2024. He was closer to winning the Electoral College in 2020 than many people thought. He seems to turn out better when his voters are on the ballot. But Republicans are putting a lot of faith in a man whose political instincts don't exactly reward that. The help he needs the reason Trump has as much of a chance as he does now is due to a few things. How unpopular Biden is and the likelihood that third-party candidates could hurt Biden. Biden's continued popularity is far from certain. And the third party factor will likely become less important as the race progresses. Trump is a well defined, known quantity to American voters. He failed to reach 47% in both of his campaigns. And both his approval and positive ratings have hovered fairly consistently around 40%. This suggests Trump has a ceiling in the mid to upper 40s and Biden's numbers should remain low. But right now, Signs are that the economy is heading in a better direction, which could help Biden. And while third-party candidates have historically received very high numbers in the polls, history shows that most voters ultimately come down to one of the two major party candidates. Republicans can also see for themselves how much better a more standard Republican could do. Haley generally polls better than Trump in general election matchups with Biden. Consider this. Two Trump's favorable rating is better now than at any point since he left office and higher than it has been for most of his presidency. One way to look at it is that it's becoming more popular. Another way is that it could be.